Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Katrina and today I am going to teach you how to do the rectangle granny square. So to get started, I am using a five millimeter crochet hook and this is a four weight yarn. I'm not too sure what type of yarn it is because it was mill ends. So to get started, we're going to do our chain 12, which I have already started. And in the fourth chain, so this chain on the hook does not count, you're gonna count one, two, three, four. And in that fourth, you're going to do two double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's one, two, and then we're going to chain two, and then back into that same stitch, we're going to do three double crochets, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's one, two, three, and then we're going to chain two and do two, three more double crochets back into that stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one, two, and three. Then we're going to chain two, and we're going to skip two, one, two, and then the next three chains, we're going to do one double crochet in each of those three. So yarn over, you're going to skip two, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's one, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain two, and we're going to skip two, and in the last chain, we're going to do what we did at the beginning. We're going to do three double crochets. There's one. two, three, Just let me move my cam up here a little bit more, then we're going to chain two, and then we're going to go back in there, do three more double crochets. There's one, two, three, and then we're going to chain two and do three more double crochets. All in that same stitch. Then we're going to chain two, we're going to skip those two, we're going to go into the top of each of these three double crochets. So, so skip, skip, and yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Yarn over, insert your hook into the top of the next double crochet, and do a double crochet. Yarn over, jump over to the next top of the double crochet, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain two. And right here, where you had done your chain three, you're going to count one, two, three. 
and then at the top of that chain three you're going to do a slip stitch and then slip stitch into the next slip stitch into the next then in this corner where you did your chain two you're going to insert your hook into that chain two space and do a slip stitch chain three and that chain three counts as your double crochet and this is just a repeat you just repeat this whole entire pattern throughout what you are making so like i said that chain three counts as your double crochet so you're going to yarn over go back into that chain three or chain two space and do two more double crochets there's one two and always when you come back to your your corner piece here you're always going to go into the top of the chain three slip stitch and then slip stitch in the top of the next two double crochets and then you will slip stitch into the middle of the corner and then chain three and that chain three counts as your double crochet and then you put two double crochets in and you're always going to chain two yarn over we're over skip these three double crochets in the corner here and in your corners you're going to do three double crochets chain two three double crochets so yarn over the hook insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's one two And then you're going to chain two always in the corner and always when you're doing your three double crochets on the side and then you're going to go back into that same corner in that stitch and do three more double crochets there's one two three You're going to chain two yarn over and in your chain two space here you're going to do three double crochets there's one two three and three chain two yarn over into your chain two space here you're going to do three double crochets yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two there's one two three chain two yarn over now we're in our corner here you're going to skip these three double crochets and in the corner chain two you're going to make three double crochets chain two three double crochets so yarn over the hook insert pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's one two three chain two yarn over go back into that chain two space where you did your three double crochets chain two and do three more double crochets there's one then you're going to chain two yarn over and you're into your next corner again three double crochets chain two three double crochets yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two there's one two three chain two and three more double crochets back into the same space there's one two 
and three. And you will see it starting to form. So let me get more yarn here. So it's starting to form the rectangle. So we're going to chain two, yarn over, jump into your chain two space here, and do three double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one, two, three. Chain two, yarn over, into this chain two space, three double crochets. Chain two, and then right here where your chain three is, you're going to count one, two, three. In the top of that chain three, you're going to slip stitch, slip stitch in the top of the next double crochet. Oh, sorry. slip stitch in the top of the chain three and we're going to chain three which counts as your double crochet yarn over insert into that corner do two double crochets there's one two chain two and then three more double crochets Chain two, yarn over, and the side where your chain two space is, insert and do three double crochets. chain two, then into your corner, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, that's one, two, three, chain two, Three more double crochets. Chain two. And then you're going to do this all the way around. You're going to do in each of the chain two spaces, you're going to do three double crochet, chain two skip those three double crochets in the chain two space three double crochet chain two skip the three double crochets into the double crochet or the chain two you're going to do three double crochet chain two and then in the corner you're going to do three double crochet chain two three double crochet and do this all the way around and i will meet you at the end so I'm at my end here. I did my three double crochets, chain two. So now instead of going in here and making your three double crochets, you're going to go into that chain three at the top, do your slip stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch, slip stitch, and then slip stitch into the chain two. And we're going to chain three which counts as your double crochet. Do two more double crochets. 
There's one, two, chain two, and three more double crochets. And you're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around your rectangle until you get it as big as you want. You can do um, a table runner, placemats, whatever you like. So in your corners, you do your three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain two. In your sides, three double crochet, chain two. Jump over to your next chain two space, three double crochet, chain two. And then in the corner, your three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all done in the same chain space. And then all the way down the side, after you do your three double crochets, always remember to do that chain two. And always in your corner, your three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So I'm going to work this up a bit, and then I will meet you at the beginning. So I am at my end here. I've did my three double crochets, chain two. So I am going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. And that's how your work is going to look like. So that is the rectangle granny square. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. And, and if you want, just um, take some pictures and send them to me, whatever you make. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to become a member I have a join button as well uh, In my about page all my links and everything is in my about page. I hope you all have a fantastic night Take care stay safe and happy crocheting. Bye everyone